Hi guys and welcome to another video, just a short one today but a moderately exciting one nevertheless as Sunderland have signed experienced centre back, 31 year old uh, Lynch, Joel Lynch from QPR, as Q well QPR released him so he wasn't a free agent uh, and, and I think to me personally I think that's a really really good signing, um, he's got that experience and he can still play because he did play 33 times last season for, for QPR, it's not another sort of Glenn Leuvens that's just going to sit on the bench, I wouldn't think. It's really, really good competition and that's what I think that's what makes it more exciting now because, of course, our priority right now is a left-back. We're in desperate need of a left-back. But with this, it's adding much-needed competition around the, uh, around the pitch. I know that we do have Baldwin there. We have Flanagan behind Ozturk and Willis who are being preferred at the minute. But for me, I, I think either Flanagan or Baldwin, more than likely Baldwin, will probably eventually leave the club. We haven't seen anything of Baldwin. He's not been on the bench for a while either, so I'm not too sure whether he is just simply out of favour or he might be on his way out. Uh, that remains to be seen. Personally, I prefer Baldwin over Flanagan, so if I had to see any of those two go, I would rather Flanagan leave. But back to Lynch, he does have a wealth of experience. He has over 200 appearances in the Championship. Uh, he's played for the likes of uh, Forest. he's played for Brighton, Huddersfield. Uh, he did start off at Brighton. Uh, and, that, and that was in League One, so he does have a bit of uh, experience there as well. But he, he's, just, he's just a solid centre-back. And if you have a look at his, uh, his, uh, his show reel, his highlights reel as well on YouTube, uh, you'll see that he's scored a few goals as well, so he does like to get forward and, uh, and make a difference in the final third as well. But just a, a really, really solid signing, in my opinion. And it's, uh, it is, it, I think it is quite an exciting one, maybe a, a shrewd signing there, I, I would think. And if you look at him, he does look like a brick shit house as well. And I always like those kind of centre backs. So, uh, you know, it, it's not the tallest, he's six foot one, which is okay. I mean, I prefer my centre backs to be, you know, proper old school six foot four, you know, big things. But uh, six foot one, that'll do. Uh, but and, and he does look like uh, the bulky type, so we will be able to ruffle some feathers. And, uh, and a decent signing, an experienced signing from uh, from the Championship. So that's that's, uh, that, that's really good and, I, and I'm pleased with that. So you let me know, of course, in the comments as well um, if you're happy with the signing, what you think of the signing. You let me know. And uh, again, reverting back to the topic we talked about earlier, we are in desperate need of a left-back. But Jack Ross, uh, he did say that, of course... He actually revealed after the game at the weekend, he revealed that Joel Lynch was the player that we were after. They're still not particularly close on bringing in a left-back, although they have, uh, of course, a list drawn up and there's certain players that they are looking at, but nothing is imminent as of right now, although I, we do desperately need it. We can't rely on Denver Hume for the season, although he played well the other day for me. I personally think he played very well. But we can't rely on young Denver Hume all season and we definitely can't be sticking Conor McLaughlin at left-back because he's just goddamn awful there, which is a shame because it isn't his uh, favourite position. But but yeah, so that's that's it. It's a short and sweet one today, guys. So again, you let me know what you think about the signing of Joel Lynch. I'm perfectly I'm perfectly happy with it. Today, so I'm actually quite buzzing with it. I think it's a very, very shrewd signing. But again, let me know in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.